What's going on, y'all? I got to take over the goddamn San Diego food tour, bro. Look at this. It is 12, bro. It is 12, bro. Look at this. Bro, it is 12 o'clock, bro. We were supposed to do some goddamn San Diego food breakfast. That was going to be my favorite part of the goddamn food God. tour, bro. Well, we overslept. We stayed out too late, man. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey shout out to Jay, though, guy that ain't cut Collar Green. Shout out to Cut Collar Green, man. It was a great time last night. But hey. He quit doing that, and I'm still in there. We ain't going to breakfast. Anyway, this is still part three of the San Diego food tour, okay? I'm not going to let y'all down. I got backup plans, man, okay? So today, what we're going to do is an old concept me and Cuzzo did in New York, man. We're going to let strangers choose where we eat for the next 24 hours, and there's a twist. We're only getting dessert. I only want dessert today. I'm looking for the best dessert in San Diego, man. Let's go. See old timer right here, man. Let's pull up on buddy, man. See what you talking about. Hopefully he be willing to talk. What's going on, old time? Hold on, hold on. He got he's silent. Look at me. He got the drip. He got the car going. Everything, man. Well, look, me and my cousin, we're asking people right now. We're trying to figure out what the best dessert is in San Diego, man. Anyway, we need something, dog. Okay, my man. I'll tell you what. Go down uh, on Fifth Avenue, between uh, G and Market. At a place called Henry's Pub. Yeah. And if you don't like it, tell them I sent you down there. My name is Charles. <laughs> Mr. Charles. And, 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 and they will take care of you. Most up, most up. Hey, what I got to get from there? Anything you desire. I tell Anything you what, good. if you like fish, if you like fish and chip, yeah. huh? brother, they're up there on the hook. For sure. Off the hook, my man. Okay, all right. Well, I trust you, man. I trust you. I got you. Appreciate okay. you, man. Thank you. Anytime. And I hope you guys enjoy yourself in San Diego and do. Come back again. Yes, sir. Hold on. You heard it here from Mr. Charles, man. <laughs> what happened, Coach? Bro, why did I listen to this man, dog? Henry Pub don't even open till 5 o'clock, man. We done pulled up. They got chains on the thing. <laughs> but this might have been meant to happen. Because right across the street, I see a Ghirardelli ice cream and chocolate shop. Ooh. I ain't never had a, or I ain't never experienced that before. I think I've seen them around in popular cities, but I've never been to one. So maybe we can check that know. out. And yeah, we got the melt right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. That didn't work. Intermission, dude about to break his neck. <laughs> God damn finger, coach. That's with these kids, You better man. stop. We got a guy named eat this God damn finger. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, it's the, it's the, it's the, uh, the brand of chocolate. Yeah. It smells nice know. in here. It looked nice in here. It smells and looks this is, appealing. This is chocolate heaven. <laughs> I assume this is like a chocolate lover's paradise. Look at all this chocolate, man. Some of the best ones, by the way. These? Yep. Peppermint? Yep. You're crazy. Look at all this, though, man. They have so much chocolate in here. By the way, this looks absolutely scrumptious, amazing, amazing, scrumptious, diddlyumptious, and all of the above, man. Look at this. Original, world-famous chocolate sundae. Go ahead and bite it. I just want to <laughs> dig in that mug, bro. Y'all know I'm not a real uh, huge sweet guy, but I do like chocolate, though. I already know this is about to be crazy sweet, but I'm here for it. Let's go. Best sweets in Diego. Mm. Oh. Oh my God. Welcome to San Diego. <laughs> That's honestly not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. Dude, I see why this is uh, world famous. This is a great Sunday. And it's a Sunday. <laughs> and it's, a, it's a great Sunday. He eats Sunday. He eat Sunday on Sunday. <laughs> on me. That's good though, bro. Woo. That's also dangerous, so dude, you can take that down. Mm. Dude, I gotta see what the brownie's hitting on, man. This is a little brownie Sunday. I love brownies with some ice cream, man. Let's see what the movie, oh my God. Don't First off, it. look at how creamy that brownie is, you know? Cheers, guys. Uh -huh. 
We can start the dessert tour right here. <laughs> <laughs> we can stop the dessert tour right here. Because that's fire, dude. Dang, Ghirardelli. Where'd it go? Mm. That way, to the moon. <laughs> Golly. Jesus Christ. Dude, this is sweet, but it's not like crazy sweet. I can, I can legit taste the quality of the chocolate in this, dog. Oh my goodness. Well, taste you some of that brownie, brownie <laughs> buddy. That brownie, that brownie, that brownie, brownie. <laughs> y'all see, y'all know he be making all them weird noises in the background. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. That's fine. I already know it is. You can't, you can't convince me nothing different. I already know it's fine. That's good. That brownie cold, bro. Let legend say it, bro. I don't like brownies. I I don't like homemade brownies. That's oh, <laughs> that's all you need to know. God damn, no explanation. It's oh. <laughs> Two for two. Wow. Two for two. It's not, bro, when you look at this, you think it's gonna be crazy sweet, but every thing, single thing in there, it complements each other well. That way it don't, it's not overly powerfully sweet. No lie, that chocolate sundae was like the first thing that we've eaten all day. So I feel like before we continue doing this whole dessert tour, we gotta get some food in this. There's a place right here next door called The Melt. Somebody at the hotel told us to come here, you know? I've never been here before, so we're gonna try it out. All right, bro, look, I've never been to The Melt, man. When you come to The Melt, what do you have to try? Uh, I get the barbecue bacon, but I get it, instead of doing barbecue sauce, I do barbecue sauce and melt sauce on it. Oh, it's like see, super we get the hookah. That's, yeah, yeah, I wanted the way you, all right, we want that for I sure. You, bro. I guess mac everything's really cheesy, right? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, let's get that. Hit me up with the mac and cheese, man. What's this, the melty mac? Yeah, the melty mac is all right. No, no, what? No, 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 he said it's all right. He said, what I need? What do I need to get? You talk. I like the garlic chicken bacon mac. You know, I, I don't really get many of the mac and cheeses. The garlic chicken bacon mac. I trust you, man. I trust you, bro. Garlic chicken bro. bacon me up. All right, man, I know this video is supposed to be all about dessert, but we had to make a little pit stop and actually get some food. I'm trying the bacon barbecue burger situation up first. Mad saucy, mad cheesy. The meat is actually very good quality. It's got some grilled onions on there, man. A little barbecue sauce. That's a solid burger, man. I never knew the melt was coming with the heat like that, man. You can't come to the melt and not get mac and cheese. He suggested this like bacon, cheddar, chicken mac and cheese of some sort. Let's see what that's talking about. It's nice and fresh, I'll say that much. That's good, bro. <laughs> the mac and cheese is creamy. The bacon, the chicken. Everything's good in there, man. It's seasoned well. It actually tastes like something. The thing I don't like about a lot of people's mac and cheese is that it doesn't actually have a flavor. It might be creamy or cheesy, but it don't taste like nothing. This has a wonderful taste, man. This mac, this is probably some of the best, like, fast food mac and cheese I've ever had. Seriously, look at that, man. Smoking. Woo. Oh, buddy, from the front, it's two for two right now. Cause that's certified. I got high hopes for these fries and these cheddar, cheese, bacon, fried situations. The cheese here is godly. The cheese here is godly. The cheese here is godly. God, dog. I've been sleeping on the milk, bro. Look at this mac and cheese, grilled cheese, bacon situation, man. Oh my God. Dude, I'm gonna be constipated tonight, dog. All this cheese, bro. Bro, that even 
Butterfly suit. I would say of all the I got, that was my least favorite. But the other three items I had, they go that way to the moon, man. Dude, I'm glad we stopped here, bro. You gotta try this, man. You gotta try it. Let's see. Smack your lips again. Come on, man. Smack your lips again. <laughs> Certified busting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought the, looking at these noodles, I thought it wasn't gonna have any flavor. Like, dead serious. That's actually good. That's crazy. That's crazy, dog. Still from one to 10. Bro, I haven't had nothing like this out in the West Coast since I've been out here, dog. I'll get that a nine, dog. I'll get that a nine, dog. I'll get these nine, bro. Wow. Oh, lost his hat, God dang it. <laughs> it was so good, he lost his hat, God So now that we got some real food on our stomachs right now, we're gonna go outside and ask the next person where we should find some dessert. All right, now, me and my cousin are looking for some of the best desserts in San Diego. Now, you saw us across the street and flagged us down. What do you got right here? This is a strawberry cream cheese from VG Donuts. Wow. And this you will find right on the ocean right on in the ocean. Cardiff State Beach. And this is a lemon raspberry cake. Wow. And the donuts there, they sell out every day. Okay, what is this place called? You remember? This is VG. VG. Donuts. Oh, from the same place. VG Donuts. Okay, yes, that little, that little that fire right there. Hold on, we might have to fly on in that. San Diego County. All right, guys, this next place is not exactly in San Diego, but as you guys know, we cannot say no. That sweet lady told us to come all the way to VG Donut and Bakery because she said it's fire, you know what I mean? Hopefully, she's right, man. We done drove how far? 30. About 30 minutes to get up here. Uh, ain't even in San Diego no more, but let's see what's going on. They're probably out of everything. Yeah, you know. Okay, it's good to know, right? Oh. Man. I got oatmeal cream pie. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oatmeal peanut butter scent. Whoa. Whoa, 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 I spoke too soon, I spoke too soon. So if you come to VG Donuts at about three o'clock in the evening, just know the options will be few. It's slim pickings around, but hey, we still did what we had to do. Our things were not saying no. So that comes with all the good, the bad, and the ugly, man. I'm most excited to try this peanut butter oatmeal cookie sandwich situation they got going on. I'm hoping this tastes like an oatmeal cream pie with like peanut butter. And it doesn't. <laughs> and it doesn't. <laughs> it's like the cream in the middle tastes like a tiny hint of peanut butter and just all sugar. Like it just tastes like sweet cream, like kind of like Oreo filling, but like even sweeter than that. That's insane. We bad. Whew. I gotta need some milk out of that one, man. Uh, damn. The only donut they had left was this devil cake donut. It looks like a cake, looks like a chocolate cake donut with chocolate filling on top right there. Let's see. Believe it or not, the cake on this is actually moist. It's not too sweet either. You know, it's like a, a dark chocolate on there. You know, it's not like crazy good, but it's not bad. This is like somewhere in the middle. I give this like a six. All right, right here we have an oatmeal, chocolate, raisin, and some more stuff that I, I did not read on that sign, cookie, but that's why I got it. Sound like oatmeal raisin cookie. Hmm. Hmm. 
That's surprisingly good. I didn't know how I felt about so many ingredients mixing into one cookie, but that all works really well together. It's got nuts, it's got chocolate, it's got raisins. That's a very good cookie. It's not too sweet, but sweet enough. It's chewy. I can eat this cold or warm for sure. Now they did their thing on this cookie, man. This might need to be a uh, VG cookie, not VG donut. But oh, I didn't have the donuts, so I can't really judge the donuts like that. But the cookies are good. All right, we got a red velvet, red velvet cupcake right here. I'll tell you this much right here. For Cardiff, California, wherever the heck we at right now, whatever city this is, this is probably good. But me and Cuzzo, we've been blessed <laughs> with the goodness gracious <laughs> of Chef Carolyn from Sweet Red Peach. So our bar for Red Velvet is up here, man. You know what I mean? Like I say, if we never try any of the other places that we've tried, Carolyn, you know, from Sweet Rare Peach. Yeah. We never tried uh, Coco's Lip Smacking Cupcakes. Yeah. This will be busting out the frame right now. But we, we had just know them, better. So. We just know better, you know what I mean? But this is still good. This is a solid, like, seven, eight, something it's like that. It's a good San Diego yeah, cupcake. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good San Diego and surrounding area cupcake. We got a little fruit Danish right here. Apple, I think is the fruit on that. Look the best out of everything. Look it good. looks good. And it tastes straight. It need to have, I would I would like that warmed up, I think. If I was warm, I think that'd be way better for me. Either way, man, you know, I think, I think this spot is okay. You know, it's not too bad. I think you just need to come early in the day before they run out of like literally everything. And then things get hard and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm being honest right now, I'm not really trying to drive all the way back to San Diego. Um, I think this little dessert mission was a little bit of a failure, if I'm being honest. You know, San Diego didn't, like I even looked on Google Maps. I didn't really even see a lot of dessert shops in San Diego. They came to Cardiff. This place is out of everything. I don't know, we might have to chalk this one up as an L for the day, man. Hey, if we miss any spots, y'all definitely let us know. Drop them in the comments. Maybe we'll come back, or maybe we'll just come to the city near you where we can find some real good desserts. Either way, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and let me know. Where should I go next?